I wanted to show you something that's pretty interesting. Um, it's a problem that I've always talked about with the boat uh, having a transom that's cut off at the back. Let me just show you what happens to the water when you're underway. Okay, I'm going to do this with one hand, but I'm going to launch this fender off the back here. You can see how it automatically just wants to get pulled under the boat. So, you can see the water churning and then coming backwards, right? So that's the biggest issue with these type of boats. Um, on a sailboat, it's it's uh, the water meets itself at the back and then it, uh, you know, leaves a smooth wake. But on these type of boats, with the transom cut at the back, uh, you get a lot of drag. I've been told it's up to like, you know, for a boat like this, it'd be close to 2,000 pounds of drag. And um, there are solutions out there. There's uh, there's a product called the hull vane. They do it on bigger boats. I don't know if they do it for any um, boats of this size. You kind of need to try out. Basically, it's a spoiler that sits um, under the water, sort of in line with your props, and it uh, creates a smooth wake. Um, like it, it uh, you know, reduces the turbulence coming off the props and the wash and all that. So that would be a good a good solution for something like this. Um, and it doesn't matter whether your boat's electric, gas, or diesel. It's the, this is the hull type, and this is what I keep talking about, is that um, the hull type means everything. <laughs> um, it just simply does. So there you go. Just uh, wanted to show you guys uh, what happens at the back of the boat. It doesn't... Uh, impact my enjoyment out in the water but you know there are people that want to do conversions and they want the most efficient everything right so if, if you're one of those people that wants the most efficient everything um, you know you've got to look obviously at your hull type and and uh, break down everything mathematically whether you're going AC DC lithiums whatever um, but yeah there you go